Hey guys, Matthew here. So today I'll be bringing you Act 3 of the How to Act series. Basically, I'll be going over the most efficient possible way of getting through Act 3 to minimize backtracking. Also, I'll be going over every objective for different zones. So for example, where all the trials are located, as well as the quests for skill, uh, for skill points and all that good stuff. And uh, f the Act 3 is actually one of the first zones where XP penalty starts to be in order and considerable. So I'll be going over the rules when it comes to um, XP penalty for different zones and uh, how to mitigate them. So we, when we start, we'll be in the city of Sarn. So we'll go ahead and run city of Sarn. It's a very you know linear layout. We'll just want to run right through. Then you'll get to this dude over here, which you'll have to kill. Once you've taken care of him, you'll be able to talk to Clarissa. Uh, and then you can move on to the uh, Sarn encampment. The Sarn encampment, you want to literally just go straight up to the slums. In the slums, you have two objectives. Find the crematorium and the sewers. So the sewers entrance is going to be pretty close to the entrance at every single time. When it comes to finding the crematorium, my f rule of thumb is that from the slums area, you'll want to find a staircase that goes down. So, for example, this one goes down, right? And then whenever you find another staircase that actually goes up, so, for example, this one, you're on your way uh, to the crematorium. As you can see, it was right here. So, that's basically the rule of thumb for the for the slums. After finding the sewers, uh, the sewer gates, find a staircase that goes up. And then whenever you find a staircase, or sorry, that goes down, and whenever you find a staircase that goes up, uh, just follow along that path and that will lead you to the crematorium every single time. Uh, in the crematorium, you'll have two objectives, finding the Trial of Ascendancy and Piety. Um, I'm not too good and too familiar with this layout, to be honest, uh, but I'll give you guys uh, a little trick when it comes to Piety. So for the Trial of Ascendancy in this zone, if you have anywhere near fire resistance cap, you can literally just run right through the thing, uh, right through these uh, still fire, you know, burning ground or whatever you want to call it, and it's going to be just fine. That being said, if your fire resistance is, is very low, uh, you may want to just wait for uh, the, um, the fire ground to actually be gone, uh, because it does a fair bit of damage. Once you've done that, Basically, um, you'll want to head over uh, wherever, really. I'm not sure how this layout works. Uh, that being said, you'll see this X appear on your map from a very, very long distance. And that means that's where Piety is. So just run around the, the layout until you find that X. Typically, though, it's going to be fairly close to the, to the uh, trial. So that's something to consider. Once you've done that, you'll be able to talk to uh, Tolman over here. You gotta kill the guards, all of them though. Once you've done that, grab this uh, the quest item and you can log out. Here we'll log back in, talk to Clarissa, which will give us uh, the keys to the sewers. And from there on out, we want to head right back to the slums. Here we'll actually go to the uh, sewers. In the sewers, you have three objectives. Finding the bust, the three busts, which will give you a skill point. Uh, finding the waypoint and finding the exit. So one of the busts is always going to be located prior to the, um, prior to the, uh, the waypoint. Uh, right here. So once I've got this bus, I can head straight over there to the waypoint. A uh, nice little trick here, if you're playing a ranger character and you have a uh, blink arrow, you can actually blink arrow through this and uh, over this entire thing. I don't think any other movement uh, skill can actually do it. Grab the waypoint is very important because we'll be coming back here later. Heal will basically be looking for the uh, two other busts. So there's a fair bit of um, of dead ends here, but it's not too bad. So we found one here. We can head back up over there to go look for the third one, which seems to be right here. Once we have all the bus, basically, we want to take any path that goes up on the layout, and that will lead us to the exit. 
right here. The marketplace can either go left or right. Um, so if you can see the left side here is blocked by the water, which means it's going to be on the right side. It's a very linear layout to be honest. Just follow along the path and that will lead you to the waypoint. Here is where XP penalty actually comes in order. So the catacombs is a level 27 zone, which means you can be three levels under to have no XP penalty, which means if you run this at level 24, you will have no XP penalty. If you run it at uh, level 23, you'll have a very minimal XP penalty, which is fine. But if you're level 22 or anything under, I would recommend skipping the, the catacombs and we'll be coming back later anyways. So to find the exit to the battlefront, uh, it's either going to be on this wall right around here. But if it's not located here, you can just cut straight across. Uh, oops, cut straight across and the exit will be here. To the battlefront. The battlefront, you'll basically want to find the waypoint first and foremost. It's always going to be like down here somewhere. Once you have the waypoint, grab this, this quest item over here. Um, at this point, you'll want to head to the docks, which are located right over here. Every single time, it's just going to be up to up from the waypoint. You'll find the docks really, really easily. Uh, the docks is another zone that you actually uh, want to worry about levels because the battlefront is level twenty-seven zone, but the docks is actually a level twenty-nine zone. Which means if you're anything under level 25, you may want to skip running the docks uh, because you'll be XP penalized for about one fourth of your XP, which is pretty uh, pretty considerable. So in that case, what you'll want to do is drop a portal right over here at the docks, in front of the docks, and um, head over to the um, the Solaris Temple. I actually didn't have a portal scroll there, which is a uh, a little bit of a mistake because I can't show you guys what I do, but either way, head over to the uh, Solaris Temple level 1. Uh, Solaris Temple is really easy. Just follow along the red carpet and that will lead you to the right place every single time. There are some dead ends though, but for the most part, um, just following along the red carpet is going to be good enough. So for example, this one led us to a Val side area, which is a little bit of a debate, which means the right, the right path is over here. There you go, Solaris Temple Level 2. Solaris Temple Level 2 is the exact same, just follow along the red carpet. That being said, there are some dead ends, as you can see right here. Uh, so you'll want to, uh, you know, go to the other spot, just following along the red carpet. Once you reach this room with the boss guy, or the unique monster, the goddess of purity around here, it means you're on the right path, uh, which means you want to keep, you can just skip her and keep following the red carpet on the other side. That will lead you to the, uh, um, sorry, the uh, level two, uh, temple level two waypoint. So I'm just getting hardcore debated here. What is this? What is this? Ah! I actually know where I'm going. I'm just being stupid. Um, so here you'll have Lady Delia, which you'll be able to talk to to get your amulet, their, your first rare amulet, uh, from a quest reward, which can be pretty nice. Uh, once you've talked to her, though, you want to head back to town and grab that portal, which you should have if you're not an idiot, and you actually put down a portal in front of the docks. If you didn't do that because you didn't have a portal scroll or whatever it is, uh, just head back to the battlefront, and uh, you know you'll waste, you'll you'll lose a few seconds doing so, but there's not much you can do. Mistakes happen. Head back to the docks, and here basically. Uh, you're going to have a, one of the piers will lead you to the waypoint, which is always next to uh, Fairgraves, and the other one will lead you to the quest item. So see the waypoint right next to Fairgraves. It's going to be like that every single time. And then one of the other piers is going to lead you to um, the quest item. It's always going to be down a flight of stairs. That's really all I know. That's really all I can say. Uh, that being said, where is it? Uh... I'm not sure. Like I don't know. If there's any way of telling uh, where it, where it is every single time. Maybe if I ran the docks like a few hundred times, I'd actually uh, become accustomed to the layout. But all I know is it's down a flight of stairs. So for example, here it was here. 
Uh, so it can be pretty debatey because as you saw, the entrance is right here and the quest item is right there, right? But it could have been there, it could have been there or around here. Uh, it could have been around here. So it's a little bit of like trial and error. That being said, it's not too big of a deal because the docks is actually very dense monster wise. And there's a ton of rare and magic monsters, which will allow you to get a ton of experience. So even if you have to clear the entire zone, you really didn't lose much. Once you're done with that, though, just log back out. We'll be heading back to the Solaris Temple level 2, uh, where we will talk to the uh, Lady Delia, which will give us uh, the quest item required to destroy the barricades in the sewers. So once we've actually broken down the barricade located around here, we can head over to the Ebony Barracks. The Ebony Barracks is basically uh, a fairly linear layout. You just want to head straight up until you find General Gavicious. Depending what build you're playing, uh, you may need to kill him to have access to whatever skill gem you may need to use. But for example, on a Toxic Rain character, you can just go ahead and skip him uh, because you don't need to uh, any of the skill gems that get unlocked from killing him. Things like Tornado Shots or whatever. After the uh, Once you get to Lunaris Temple Level 2, it's basically the same thing as Solaris. You just want to follow along the red carpet. It will lead you to a dead end at some point, to a wall, which is right here. And at this point, it's either going to be on the left or the right side. Or bottom, or top, or left, or right, whatever it is. It's going to be on either side of the, of the wall you encounter. So for example, for this time, it was here. Then, it's just the same thing again. Just follow along the red carpet, and that will lead you to the waypoint. Or sometimes dead ends, but for the most part, it's going to be leading you to the waypoint. Uh, Lunaris Temple Level 2 follows a pretty simple rule. After the initial staircase going down, you want to be looking for staircases that go up. So anytime you, you find a staircase that goes up, you know you're on the right path. See, this is a staircase going up. I know I'm on the right path. I can keep going here. After hitting literally every single dead end ever. Uh, another staircase that goes up. I know I'm on the right path. And there should be one more staircase going up. One more staircase that goes up. At this point, you'll have two sides. One with two carts and one with one cart. The one with uh, two cart is always a dead end, as you can see. While the one with one cart is going to be the right way. Afterwards, you want to be looking for big golden doors. Once you find these big golden doors, you know you're on the right path. Having a, a skill that allows you to uh, cross some gaps is pretty useful here because you can go straight through these uh, these doors. Another golden door, that means I'm on the right path. And a third golden door means I'm officially uh, at Piety. Take care of Piety. Once you're done killing her, she'll drop the uh, a quest item. Be sure to pick that up afterwards. You can just log out. Uh, here we're finally back to the uh, Sarn encampment for the first time in a while. So we'll be uh, able to pick up all the quest, quest rewards. So Maramoa will have a quest reward for us. Hargan will have a skill point for us from the busts. Uh, Grigor, Grigor, whatever you want to call him, will have two, uh, a, sorry, a quest reward with two skill points for us. Um, and afterwards you may consider going back to the marketplace and finishing the catacombs. Because you should be fine in terms of XP. Once you're in the catacombs, uh, it's a fairly linear layout. Uh, that being said, there's there's two books in this layout. As you can see, there's one right here. It's going to be an ancient graffiti, and that's a debate. Um, that's not the right uh, the right book. But once you found the other book, that'll be the trial. So, for example, right here, this is my trial. Uh, for this trial, just run run across. If you have blink arrow, blink using blink arrow from here to here is the most efficient way. Uh, you don't have to mess with the uh, little saws because they can be pretty dangerous. Once you're done that trial, just log back out. Here we can actually head right back to the um, the bony barracks after killing Piety. From here, you want to go straight top right, and that will lead us to the Imperial Gardens. The Imperial Gardens is fairly linear. You just basically want to follow along the road, the path on the road, as you can see here, until you reach the waypoint. Once you've reached the waypoint, 
Uh, there's going to be basically two paths for the most part. Uh, for the most part, one is going to lead you to the library. The other is going to lead you to the scepter of God. So if, if I follow along this path, that will lead me to the library, which most most builds actually skip nowadays. And the other path will lead me to the scepter of God. That being said, that's actually not what you want to what you want to do. Uh, before going to the scepter of God, you'll actually want to cut across from the waypoint to uh, directly in the forest because you'll be wanting to go look for your trial of ascendancy. Um, this seems like it's a big debate though. So in this case, this layout over here, I'll actually want to head a little bit uh, higher first. Should be right over here. Wait, what? Whoa, this is a weird one. I guess it's on this side? I am officially lost, my friends. Where is my trial? Is it before the waypoint? I've like never seen that. What? What? Yo, what? Uh, well, I've never seen this layout. Or maybe I skipped it because I'm just really bad or something. Or is, it, is it over here? Oh, it's over here. Okay. Uh, well, that was that was a pretty rough one to be honest. Holy crap! Look at this layout. I'll be sure to remember that one because that is a massive waste of time. Either way, after the Imperial Gardens, you can just log back out. It's quicker that way. It, it will also give you your uh, your flask charges back. Head back into the waypoint, and then, as we saw earlier, we can just follow along the road to the Scepter of God. Very, very uh, triggered by that layout, though. Uh, the Scepter of God, for the most part, you'll just want to head uh, across whatever starting zone you're at. And that should lead you to the um, uh, to the next uh, next level. Uh, there's probably a most more efficient way of doing this, but for the most part, that's kind of what I do. I'll just head the opposite direction of wherever the starting zone is. So, for example, in here... Since my starting zone is here, I want to head to the opposite direction, which is going to be around here. Uh, that being said, like I did at first, you can actually just follow along the outer ring of any layout, and that will lead you to the uh, the next one. But it's obviously not the most efficient way of doing things. Typically, cutting across is just going to be faster. That being said, you can get debated. But as you can see, for the most part, that's just faster. Here, this looks like a debate to me. Yep, good. And at some point, you'll encounter these barricades. That means you're basically at the boss, which is Dominus. Uh, these first guards actually are very weak. Uh, they're not at all an issue for like any build, to be honest. You could just face tank all of them. Uh, the second pos uh, the second part though can be a little bit annoying. This guy right here with his whiplashing and stuff can be decently dangerous. Uh, Callie the Craze is pretty easy. You can just step out of whatever he does. Uh, this this attack over here that Dominus just used right there is actually fairly dangerous. Uh, you definitely want to you know move out from it. Uh, these one where he's just throwing these uh, these spirits. You can actually face tank those if your lightning resistance is pretty decent. Then there's an also his final attack. Where he'll put some like totems on the ground, which will all be linked with electricity. This you want to move out of because it actually shocks you. And when you're shocked, you take 50% increased damage from all sources, which is really dangerous. Uh, the second phase, for the most part, if you have two life flasks, you can just alternate between them and uh, just face tank him. Once you've killed them, head over to the aqueduct, and you're officially done with Act 3. If we recap, we've done all the Trial of Ascendancies loca located in the Crematorium, the Catacombs, and the Imperial Gardens. We've done all the um, the skill point quests, which is from like the bust, killing piety, and all that good stuff. And we've basically uh, done everything we needed to do in Act 2 in the most efficient way possible. Uh, that being said... Uh, Basically, 
when it comes to Act 3, it's going to take a little bit of practice uh, getting used to it. You know, uh, maybe uh, take some notes, like rewatch this video and take some notes of like uh, where you want to go. And uh, the little cues I give you guys to find the, the layouts fairly easily. Uh, I'm a little bit bamboozled by uh, that Imperial Gardens layout though, but you won't you won't see that one very often. Either way, that's going to be Matthew signing out. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully you learned a little something. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.